again, brothers and sisters. So, uh, this time I want to share with you a little lesson that I learned on the importance of punctuation, or commas specifically, in the King James Bible. And I learned this from a teacher named Doug Stoffer. He's King James only, and he teaches a pre-tribulation rapture. Uh, I don't know what else he teaches. You know, he could be easy believism, heretic for all I know. But this is pretty interesting. Uh, so, let's see here. First, let's go to Luke twenty three thirty two. So, Luke twenty three thirty two says, And there were also two other, comma, male factors, comma, led with him to be put to death. Okay. <clears throat> so, if we didn't have the commas here, it would say there... And there were also two other malefactors. So that would include Jesus saying that he is a malefactor as well. But here we see the commas make it to where he's excluded from them. So the commas are important. Now, let's go to Luke 4.16. Okay. So we want to make a, want to hold a place in Luke four sixteen because we're gonna come back to that. I think Luke four sixteen. Okay, it's not exactly Luke four sixteen, but we'll come back to that anyways. Isaiah 61, 1 and 2. Isaiah, uh, let's see, Isaiah, okay. Isaiah 61, 1 and 2. It says, the Spirit of, God, of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Okay. See, there are commas here that separate these, and that's important. Uh, let's see. Go back to Luke 4. Oops. Why did I do that? Okay. Luke 4. It's actually going to be Luke 4. Yeah, we can start at 16, I guess. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, which is Isaiah. This is what we just read. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, uh, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and set liberty to them which are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. So, go back to Isaiah 61. Uh, so he started with verse 2 and said, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and then he closed the book. Okay, because what was next was, in the day of vengeance of our God. Okay, that's the tribulation. And to comfort all that mourn, that's the millennial kingdom. Okay. So, he came to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, comma. And then there's a time gap. Okay. He closed the book there. And next is the day of vengeance of our God. That's the tribulation. So there's an unknown time gap between between then and now, or between between then and the tribulation. Okay, you know there's been at least two thousand years now, uh, and to comfort all that mourn, there's at least a, there's a seven year gap there. 
from the tribulation to the millennial kingdom. So, uh, yeah. So there's time gaps with these commas. Uh, so let, next, let's go to First Peter one, ten through twelve. First Peter one. 10 through 12, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of some time, of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed, that not unto themselves, but unto us they minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Okay. Okay. I think that here this comma uh, testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow. Uh, Doug Stoffer tried to say that the glory uh, of Christ would be like his second coming and that hasn't happened yet. Okay, so there's a time gap there is what he says. I'm not sure if I totally agree with everything in this teaching, so... Let's go to Second Thessalonians one seven. Second Thessalonians one seven. Where is that at? Okay, Second Thessalonians one seven says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us, comma, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay. Revelation 6, 11. Okay. So, Revelation 6, 11. Revelation 6, verse 11 says, And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, and tell their fellow servants also, and their brethren that should be killed as, uh, as they were should be fulfilled. So they're resting in heaven. So uh, people are already resting in heaven. The, the rest is now. So it says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. That means, you know, now, currently. And then, comma, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay. So, there's, again, there's a time gap there. And if the comma wasn't there, it would mean it would be a totally different sentence. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed. No, we're resting now. And later the Lord Jesus will be revealed. So there's a time gap there, okay. And also, I'll just note that this First Thessalonians uh, 7 through 10 is talking about the second coming, okay? Now, so he sets all that up to teach that Second Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, verse 3, there's a comma here after first, so f that for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, comma, so he says that the falling away has to come before that day. And the man of sin be revealed comes afterwards. Okay. So, anyways, that's just a little interesting teaching, I thought. So it is important to pay attention to all punctuation. Uh, they can make a big difference. So just remember that when you're studying. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.